hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be reviewing the cover fx uh, foundation and concealer so today we do have the cover fx power play foundation i do have the shade d1 so that was the packaging there and then this is what it looks like here so i hope it's not too dark um, but we'll try it out and see. And then for the concealer, I do have D1 as well. Of course, it is a little bit lighter. But let me show you what it looks like. And I like this because it is a very big amount in here. So it looks like it is 0.21 fluid ounces. So this is D1 as well. It is a little bit lighter than my foundation shade. And that's what that looks like here. So I really can't wait to try these out here. Okay guys, so I'm just going to set my face and put my primer on and then we'll go ahead and do the foundation and the concealer. I'm probably gonna do my eyeshadow backwards today. So usually I start with my eyeshadows first, but I think today I'm just gonna do it backwards. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna be. Let me swatch it here. So it actually looks perfect. Um, this is the color here, D1. Okay, so there's that. So I'm just squeezing a little bit on the back of my hand and I am going to use a brush and apply it on my skin here, on my face. I don't know why I always say on my skin. Of course it's gonna be on my skin because it's on my face. All right, so I am just taking a little foundation brush, one of the brushes that I had received in BoxyCharm. So I'm just gonna use this here. I'm just gonna dip into it and just apply it on my face and see what happens. Oh boy. Okay, so it's looking a little dark, but actually it looks about my skin tone, like my body. My face is lighter than my body, so it's actually blending in pretty well. So I may have to bronze my ears though, because it is a little dark, but it's beautiful. It's very pretty. Definitely my summer shade. And I would say this is Definitely full coverage foundation. Very, very pretty. I'm just going to take my earrings off here real quick. Very pretty. Very full coverage too. So depending on what happens, I may have to go down a shade, but we'll see. Again, I haven't put on my eyeshadow or anything yet. So we'll see what happens. Very full coverage. I guess with this foundation, less is more. I look really dark, guys. I'm kind of nervous. Trust the process, right? I look like I've been baking in the sun for a minute. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put on my concealer. And I have the shade D1. So again, this is the color here. I'm going to apply this and praying that this blends out, you know, perfectly on the face. So we'll see what happens. I think I can save the look here. I like the shade already. So it's lighter, so it's definitely going to be able to balance it out. And I like the doe foot applicator. You see that? It's the doe foot applicator. I like that. And I'm just going ham with it on here. I really want to lighten my foundation up some, so I'm going in with it here. 
Lighten it up some. When in doubt, lighten your shade up with concealer. It'll work. So. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer with another little foundation brush here. Actually, this trying to brighten it up some but I think the look will pull together here in a little bit all right so I'm gonna let the concealer sit down for a couple minutes that way I can blend it out and then we'll go from there All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer and see if it makes a difference on my under eyes and my skin with the foundation on. Okay, so the concealer is set now. So now I'm just gonna blend it out with my setting powder. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. I'm just gonna set it with my translucent setting powder here. And I'm just taking my translucent setting powder here, and I'm just gonna pat in the powder on my face. I'm not gonna take a brush. I'm just gonna pat in the powder on my face here with my little puff. And I'm just patting it in. As you can see on my forehead, it's kind of sticky. So this powder really, really helps. Again, I do have combination oily skin. So the more powder, the better for me. But the look is coming together. Trust the process. Okay, so that is the foundation and concealer set down. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera and I'll be back with my final results. All right guys, this completes the video. I really do love the foundation. The foundation is breathable. It has a natural matte finish as it says. Um, it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the skin. It blends in perfectly in its full coverage. I mean, like it covers all my blemishes uh, the concealer, it covers my dark circles. It does not crease. So that may be another video that I do with the Cover FX and the Fiera Cosmetics. Never know. Stay tuned. But yeah, I do recommend these products. Um, one of my beautiful subscribers 
had asked me if I had tried the Cover FX and I didn't. I've never tried it before. This is my first time trying it. I really do like it. Um, so if you guys have like anything that you want me to do, let me know. Comment down below, send me a message. I'll look into it and I'll upload the video for you. That's what it's all about. Trial and error. I mean, there's no rules to make up, so we can just go through the emotions together and see what happens. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And also, I wanted to ask you guys, have any of you guys tried out the Cover FX uh, foundation and concealer? Let me know and let me know what your thoughts are. So yeah, that's it guys. I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.